Okay, hi guys. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to come with um, a quick video. Um, this is actually the view from my house from behind. This is our lake. And um, actually, I'm just doing this video to show you um, the reason I'm standing near my lake is for the lighting. I wanted to show you the, um, the nails I did for the 4th of July in honor of the 4th of July. Now, um, <clears throat> these nails that I did, they are much longer than I'm used to, much longer than I usually do, but I wanted to do something a little out there for the 4th of July, just something a little different, something really, you know, splashy. And um, actually, my plan is to eventually, um, after the 4th of July uh, comes and goes, I'm going to file them down and um, leave them shorter. But for now, this is it. I just wanted to show you. Let me see if I can get some better lighting in here. These are my 4th of July nails. And again, I am using the, the, um, the video on my phone. I still have a mess of my nail stuff out. I'm using the video from my phone. So it's not as good as the camera. But it's also a lot less trouble to... Um, to upload onto YouTube and I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm preparing for um, for several swaps and uh, I'm leaving on vacation on Saturday. So I need to get those out of there on Friday and I'm also sending out some gift mail. So um, I don't have a lot of time to grab the, you know, the high definition camera and record it with that and then take the hours that it takes to, um, to upload it onto YouTube, unfortunately. I guess because the quality is better it um it takes forever so yeah i just wanted to just quickly show it to you just so because like i said after tomorrow after the fourth i do plan to file these down short probably to just on just under the red probably i'll just leave like a silver tip um either that or i'll leave the silver and maybe just a little bit of the red tip not sure yet that might even still be a little long. I think I'm just going to file it down to the silver. And when I do that, I'll show you guys how that worked out, how it stays. But for now, these these are it. These are my 4th of July nails. I went long. I went patriotic. We got the whole red, white, and blue. The blue at the tips. What a shame I don't have my other camera because the very, very tippy tips of my blue, I don't know if you can see it. But it has little stars in our of the stars of our flag. And uh, yeah, the blue, red, and silver. And I did use something sparkly on my nail bed. I uh, don't know if it picks it up. And I don't know if you can see it, but I also stamped on some blue stars and a little V right there with my um with my nail art stamping thing. Just so that I still preserve some of the um, of the July Fourth design when I file them down, when uh, when tomorrow's over and I file them down. The thing is, I do not want to have them this long for my vacation. I will not be able to do anything, but I do want to have something special for the Fourth of July. So that's it. There it is. I hope you like them. Um, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and let me know what you think i know they're a little exaggerated show you the other hand i know they're a little out there um not my usual you know small um pretty tiny designs but um but sometimes you gotta go big or go home so so that's it so um again don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and tell me what you think okay and um, just for anybody who wonders, these are acrylic. These are not gel. They're actually acrylic. Um, I did uh, three different mixes, a silver, a red, and a blue. The blue one has stars. Um, and yeah, so that's what I did to, um, that's what I did. It's uh, acrylic with a UV gel top coat. And, um, and no nails. I did this purely with a form, so... No 